What's up, guys and girls? It's TP with Styles of Life. About to go to the dentist because actually, I'm about to tell you guys after I give Shiloh a treat. Hey, everyone say hi to Shiloh. What's up, buddy? You want a treat? Who's a good boy? Yeah, you know. Good boy. Good boy. I'll be back, right, buddy? Got my keys. Check. Got my wallet, phone. Check. So, do a quick vlog. I'm on my way to the dentist, and also I'm gonna do a product review. I'm gonna put on some makeup, guys. Man, this girl, one of my clients, one of my new clients, just sent me some makeup to do a review and a demonstration on. And um, I'm deciding to do it in my car because it's a nice ass day today. So I'm gonna take advantage of the lighting, as you guys can see. I have to tell you guys about yesterday. Well, that's the song right there. I need to play it quietly because then I might get some copyright for You know, I'm not even getting paid. Play it in the background while I talk. I'm not even getting paid anymore because the new YouTube partner program is freaking whack. I need to get 1K subscribers before I start getting paid again. So, hey, hit the subscribe button. If you don't have an account, make an account, y'all. Like, support the move, support the cause, support styles of life. Please. Please, 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 if you guys want to see more of me, you guys want to hear more from me, please support the channel. Anyway, guys, headed to the dentist because my tooth is chipped. I right, so you can see it right there. I know you can't notice it, but I feel it because it's super sharp and it is like cutting my tongue and stuff. And how it happened, let me, uh, there's some context to this, guys. I'm gonna put some shades on. It's so nice out today, guys. I'm gonna find a good spot, some good lighting to do the, uh, the product, the, <laughs> the eyebrow growth serum treatment slash demonstration slash review slash unboxing, which you guys will see the link right here. So go ahead and check that out. Topic of today is going to be about supposedly the day that's supposed to be the worst day of my life based on a curse that was bestowed upon me by a proclaimed gypsy witch and she cursed me before Christmas when I was going out with my friend I was about to become a doctor walk the dock in my hometown downtown the downtown bars and she was in a onesie pajama suit at the bars. It was like a, a week, like a Thursday night though. But still, she was in a onesie, which is cool. Like, that's kind of peacocking to the max, if you ask me. But she was with her boyfriend, which was also in a onesie, which was cool. I mean, I, I have friends that do that sometimes. They'll put on onesies and go out to the bars in my hometown, which is, you know, do what you want to do to have fun. I ain't, I ain't knocking the fun. Like, what it... What, what if, why does it have to be so judgmental on, why do people have to be so judgmental on what they wear and what pe other people wear? As long as you're happy and doing it for your own reasons and it's your style or if it's what, if, if you're trying to make a statement, like obviously maybe it's not a fact. It's, that's another whole story right now. But I met that girl and she started cursing. She, she noticed my Buddha pendant, my Buddha piece which I was wearing at the time. And the Buddha piece was not mine to begin with. My mother gave it to me, uh, first of all. So it wasn't blessed specifically for me, but it was still blessed, right? She noticed that, started talking about it, and she started. She asked me if she could feel and touch and stuff, and she started going on it. And like, well, she started going in on it, saying like, this isn't for you, this isn't meant for you. I'm like, yeah, it's my mom's. She's like, yeah, I can tell this is not for you. The energy isn't right for you. I'm like, what do you mean it's not right for me? I'm having... She's like, okay. She, I don't, like, I was a little, I'm, like, I was a little drunk, so I don't remember play by play, but I remember her telling me that that's not meant for me and that 
she wanted to put a curse on me for some reason. Well, I thought we were just all being friends. I was being nice. I'm always nice to everybody. I don't know what I was thinking in my head to think that any curse could potentially be good. Like, the word alone, the word curse has such a negative connotation. But you know me, I'm always trying to see the positive and everything. So I was like, yeah, all right, I mean, go ahead and give me a positive curse. I shit you not. She grabs my head from, like, she grabs my head. And she reach, goes in, and we, we go head to head, and she starts making out with my, my forehead. Keep in mind, her boyfriend's right here, like, literally right here, standing right here. We're sitting outside the bar, and my buddy's watching, too, like, we, you can, I, I can, I, we can bring it, we can bring my buddy into this, and he can provide witness statements for those that don't believe this. I have witnesses, but she starts holding me, and then she's telling me, like, something about my curse, like, this, this guy will go through the worst day of his life on January 21st of 2018. He will, he will experience such horrible, horrible energy or vibe, or whatever she said, she said, but you will, you will make it through. I'm like, damn right I will I don't care what happens to me but I know that with my mindset right now nothing can stop me and nothing can bring me down because I am controlled with my mind like I have that much control of it I know it for a fact I told her you're just doing a bunch of cold reading techniques and making general statements like all those personality tests which you have to have a lot of skill to do it's not something that's a joke I didn't say it was a joke because I told her I know this because I do this myself I am a cold reading master like I know how to cold read someone from the get-go I can talk to someone see how they talk see how they move and I will call that person out on who they are and who they want to be who they tend to be on who they're faking to be and who they really are <laughs> I have that skill and a lot of people have that skill too naturally based on how their mind works and I can see she had that thought process in that mindset which I was on a similar vibration slash wavelength with her which was why I gave her the opportunity to conversate with me the way that we did anyway she went ahead and gave me this curse and told me that January 21st was going to be the worst day of my life and I told her bring it on like Nothing can bring me down like that. I've been, I've been through hell and back. Like, I know how it feels to be in the bottom of the bottom. Like, I've already experienced one, one of the worst days of my life. Already. I already know that there's going to be worse to come. But I am expecting it. And I will not let it deter me from a mindset that generates positivity. Anyway, fast forward a month and a half later, which was what? Yesterday. January 21st came around, guys. I was freaking, freaking, I'm... If, if you know me, and those of you that don't know me, and those of you new to the channel, I am very superstitious. I believe in energy. I believe in vibrations. I believe in, like, I believe in energy and flow, like, the flow of energy in the world, whether it's physical or mental or just just the energy in itself. And I that's why I'm so superstitious. I believe in ghosts. I believe in... I believe in that anything is possible. That's the thing. As an economist as well, that you understand that nothing is 100%. So that 1% of uncertainty allows for anything to be possible, right? So, with that in mind, I was freaking out. Uh, I was so scared. My buddy came out. I saw Praying, I started praying, I started lighting up incense, started praying, started saying, yo, like, just let me have a safe night tonight, like, please. I put on the Buddha piece to complete my outfit, and then all of a sudden, bad vibes started coming, yo. I received a text message that I did not want to receive right after I put that Buddha piece on. I took that shit off so quick. I was like, yo, I'm not going to wear this tonight. I'm not trying to have anyone die, like, real talk. Like, I know if someone in my life dies, that would be a horrible, horrible event. Start praying. My buddy comes in. He starts praying too. He's like, <laughs> he starts praying. Anyway, we go out about the night. We had an amazing night. It was my boy Jeff's girl's birthday, so we went out and had some dinner, got some drinks, went to the arcade, had a great night. But it wasn't the 21st yet. Her birthday was at midnight that night, right? And the friend in our group wasn't 21 yet, but she had a fake. She got, she went in and got caught up by the cops. Right after 12 here. That's the first event of the night. Not long after, I was given a champagne bottle by one of my girlfriends. She, it was a full, I was turned. So I was like, yo, it was lit. It was a lituation day. Like, it was so lit. So many people. And everyone there was great vibes. All faded. So I was bringing the vibes in. I got that bottle. I went, I never chug other people's drinks like this. Keep in mind. Like, I'm considerate. I would take sips or whatever. I would say no, thank you appreciate the offer but we was in a lituation guys 
Like, it was, we were tired. So I grabbed that ball and went, cook, 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 cook. Keep in mind, like, I just hugged these four friends. And, like, the fifth friend came in for a hug while I'm chugging. I had no idea. I mean, hello, I'm chugging. I'm, like, bottoms up. And I went, ka-doom. Hit her in the head so hard and so loud, I, I thought I cracked her skull. I was like, yo, I just gave her a concussion. I was freaking out, low-key. But anyway, like, shortly after, I was like, yo, I chipped my tooth. She started feeling so bad about chipping my tooth. I'm over here like, yo, I might have cracked your skull. Why are you... This is a light work fix, which is why I'm here at the dentist right now, guys. <laughs> anyway, um... And that's not even, like... That was, like, literally, like, not even long after midnight, right? And then, like, a couple of hours later, I'm not gonna talk to you about the details of the night, but... A very eventful event happened, which was, like, around 5 a.m. I got stuck in the elevator. Watch this, guys. Yeah, the elevator is stuck right now. Yeah, the elevator's stuck right now. Yeah, the elevator's stuck right now. Yeah, the elevator's stuck right now. Everybody okay, man? It's just me. And yeah, I should be fine. Alright, what's the Another update. Look at look at the whole squad came came through just for me. The whole squad came through just for me. Oh blessed day. <laughs> oh my I had the whole squad come through. They had a fireman, a, a, a emergency sir, a nurse or whatever, um, emergency doctor or an ambulance. The ambulance <laughs> and they had a police officer that opened the elevator y'all saw that i came out i was relieved but you know what i i was having a great time in there i was drunk i was just talking to myself being on snap i was making beats out of that alarm thing like it was a great time and honestly i later that day i made like 50 bucks i was i stayed up the whole day just to see what would happen honestly i didn't sleep one hour that whole that whole day, I didn't even sleep one hour. I wasn't even home the whole day. I was gone. I was. I put in work at the library. I did so much stuff. Honestly, nothing bad happened. Moral of the story: Don't ever let anyone ever tell you what day is what and what's gonna happen to you on what day. I'm glad that Moon. Hey, shout out to Moon though. I'm glad that she told me the 21st is gonna be the worst day of my life because it turned out to be one of the best days of this year thus far. And like y'all saw that. But anyway, guys. Hey, keep an eye out for that makeup this demonstration I'm about to do with my brow. And I'll catch you guys next time. If you liked my video today, guys, please click like, click subscribe. It'll mean the world to me. Comment down below too. <laughs>